What's going on, everyone? Metal Blade 427 here, along with my friend. Just playing Paul. And we bring you a special episode of Final Fantasy VII, not released on Fridays. This is the story of Sephiroth. We have made it to the city of Calm after escaping Midgard. And now we are about to learn the entire story. Well, a large portion of the no, story. No, pretty, pretty much the whole story. Yeah, of uh, Cloud's experience with Sephiroth. Yeah. So now this is pretty much just Cloud and Sephiroth and their run together. Like, you don't get too much backstory on Sephiroth, you just get what Cloud knows based on his experience. Yes. And this is a long, long thing, so let's head into the inn. This is like a one hour long cutscene. Yes. Yeah. But you won't have to worry about watching the whole hour unless you want to. I'm going to break this into two separate parts. And you'll know exactly where it's going to split once we start talking. So, let's do this. So everyone is gathered up here. Cloud, you're late. Well, pretty much. We're running around the town like crazy. Yo, man, you're late. Now. I don't know why he decided to say it. But I'm also like, what am I late for? Yeah, this is true. Sorry to keep you waiting. Guess everyone's here now. So let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. I got an hour to kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? Yeah, well, he's older than me. And he hardly ever talked about himself, which is exactly my defining characteristic of a friend. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I read that what Tiffa said, by the way. So. Yeah, I know, I know. That was very good. <laughs> so I guess you'd call him a war buddy. We trusted each other until one day. One day? After the war, it was soldiers' duty to put down any resistance against Shinra. That was five years ago. I was 16. So now we actually get an idea of how old Cloud is. Yes. Well, in-game-wise, anyway. Yes. Sure is raining hard. You gotta have his voice, yeah, you have his voice a little bit more yeah, skunkier yeah, now, because he's not as depressed. He's a youngin, and he's not so moody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm alright. I wouldn't know. I've never had motion sickness. Poor guy. Everything okay? Hey. Settle down. They gave me some new materia. Can't wait to use it. I love the squats. It's the squats are so everywhere. cool. Everywhere. Always it. squats. Just like a kid. You going to brief us about this mission? This isn't a typical mission. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldiers so I could be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended up with the or like you ended with the war. That's why I always sign up whenever there's a big mission. Kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Sephiroth? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then, we'll locate the problem and neutralize it. Brutal creatures? Where? The Mako Reactor in the Bellum. Oh. Nice. Is that how it's pronounced? Nibelum? I don't know. I, don't... I, that's, that's, I, I guess. Nibelum. Sounded right. That's where I'm from. Hmm. Hometown. Sir, something strange has crashed into our truck. That would be our monster. 
There's no stats in this thing, because by the time we'd even be able to mention it, yep. Sephiroth will have killed it. Pretty much. So just enjoy watching Cloud be level one. For this brief, brief point in the and game. Be and be dead. dead. <laughs> and he has died. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot of power behind that. So Sephiroth is just monstrously powerful in this. Yes. And zero. And, yeah, and he gains no limit break. And he doesn't care that Cloud's dead. No. No, there is no Phoenix down. There is no saving. He You're... does have a full life spell. I know that. Because when I played through it, he did heal Cloud. Sometimes. Yeah, when he feels being generous, but yeah. not that time. Sephiroth's strength is unreal. He is far stronger in reality than any story you might have heard about him. So, where do you come in? Besides the fact that you fought next to him? Mm -hmm. He was level 1. Oh, yeah. 140 HP. Oh, he didn't yeah. know what he was doing. That's awesome. <laughs> Me? I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. Good job. Yep. <laughs> And then we reach Nibbleum. Nibbleheim. Nibbleheim. Maybe that's what it is. Nibbleheim. I don't know. Nibbleum is what I said? No, Nibbleheim. I don't know. Nibbles. Some of the words in this game, I, I don't know. You because I am not Japanese. Words. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not Japanese. We're just so. reaching our hand into the bag. Oh, letters. That's what the name is. <laughs> How does it feel? It's your first time back in your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Now we see where Cloud got his old moody attitude from. <laughs> um, how about your parents? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... <laughs> okay, I'm good now. What does it? All right, let's go. These are amazing graphics, I love it. Psst, keep wandering around here and you'll get in trouble. I don't think so. It's so boring being on watch. Um. I don't think it matters what you choose. Yeah. Shall we practice? Uh, uh yeah, okay. How did it go? Nah! What? Oh my god! Nah! <laughs> the moody thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna. We have a little bit of free roam around here, right? Yeah. Go! Wait a minute! Here comes Barrett's uh, flashback. Isn't that, um. the name of Sephiroth's mother? I remember Genova. That's a damn headless blue boob thing spooked living in the Shinra building. That's right. Barrett, would you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Tifa, I, I was only... Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Cloud. Continue. It's a reunion of childhood pals. Shut up, Aris. <laughs> I was really surprised with Tifa. The town was quiet. Everyone must be staying in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No, maybe they're afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early. All we need is one lookout. So you others, get some rest. Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. Okay, that was fun. So now in a sense, in this particular area, we can almost direct and how some parts of the stories go. Yes. If you go into a house, it's like, did you go in here? And then- Yes, yeah. If, if you go into Tiffa's house, she'll ask if you went in there and if you checked for her orthopedic underwear. And we need to do that. Because why wouldn't you check for Tiffa's underwear? Cloud? Did you go into my house? 
Yup. I thought you might be home. So I decided to raid it. So I decided <laughs> to do a funny little dance. <laughs> Panty raid. Cloud? Did you go into my room? Yes. <laughs> now, if you want to be a jerk, you can check this closet here, and you will find orthopedic underwear. And you can embarrass Tifa that way. Um, Don't you dare. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud! Just kidding. Don't get mad. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. Cloud. <laughs> We're talking about something really important here. <laughs> like orthopedic underwear. Absolutely. And that piano is a very important part, isn't it? Yes. There's a song you can play. Mm. Um, that... I don't even remember it off the top I don't, of I don't, remember, I don't remember what it is. There's a song, you basically, play. you play the overworld theme on the piano, and you get a gill. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people who think that in order to get Tifa's ultimate limit break, you have to play the piano here. You don't have to. You do have to play the piano, but not in this particular period of time. Oh, okay. It doesn't necessarily unlock anything, it just... I don't know, some people, for whatever reason, they think you have to do it there. That you have to play the piano there. at her house. You can yeah. play it on almost any piano. Well, no, 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 no. To get it, you will have to play it at her house. Right. But, the, but they think that in order to start it, you have to play, You have to do it there oh. and two other times. You don't have to do it there. You okay. have to do it the other two times. Gotcha. All right, so, all right, that's fine then. Um, which one's Cloud's house? I know Cloud has a house somewhere. right here. Oh, there we are. This is my house. It has nothing to do with the incident five years ago. Yo, wait! I wanna hear! Me too. It's been a long time, right? Tell us more! You saw your family, right? Alright. I don't know if you could call it a family. My father died when I was still very young. That's why my mom was living alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mom. My mom. She was a vibrant woman. Hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. That is a horrible coincidence right I there. know, right? Like, really? But when I saw her, she looked fine. I wonder where he got his hair from. Yeah, really. Uh, the mom gene. <laughs> yes... Cloud! Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. See, now this is really trippy, the way that it yes. blinks like Yeah, this. it starts getting a little funny. Yeah. Come, come. Let me take a look at you. Cloud's mom sounds like Aris, by the way. Yep, yep, yep. That's what, mm. he, that's what he finds attractive about Aris. <laughs> you always find one that's like your mom, or opposite of your mom. That's, that's, that's what we're finding right now. You look so handsome. She even has like almost the same bangs as Aris does. So see, she does. See, see, there you go. So this is a soldier uniform. Mom, I... Trippy. My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. Now wasn't this the flashback that Cloud had? Yep. Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> Twelve episodes into this in like three months and I don't remember where this flashback I know. was. But I remember he had a flashback with this, this exact, exact same scene. dialogue. Yep. yep. You should have. An older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be a perfect type for you. I'm not interested. Are you eating right? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Is that so? You can't cook, right? I was worried sick about how you were doing. Cloud? Oh god! You know Cloud. Ooh. 
Isn't that right, Cloud? Sure! <laughs> I will always be your mother. Oh, it stopped. Let's stop this. Yes, please. And then all the rest of the places are just like whatever places, yeah. nothing really much, so... Yeah, to progress you just come in here. And, and again, you don't have to see Tifa, you don't have to see your mom, all you had to do was just come into here. Yes. Yeah, you could have skipped all that. Yep. But, uh, that's not how we do. Yep. What are you looking at? This scenery. I feel like I know this place. I don't think you can actually collect any items right now at, uh... I want that. It looks like an item. At a level one cloud. Actually, before you even begin, bring open your menu. Because even cloud sprite is a younger look. Oh, cloud. Yep, look at him in his youth. You're cute. Back and five years ago. And you're 40 HP and 10 MP. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, preemptive. Wow. <laughs> it's actually not a bad piece of material to have. Well, he did say he had a new one and he was excited because he was doing the squats about it, so... <laughs> I mean, when you're with Tifa, you don't want to be preemptive, but hey, whatever. How you know? <laughs> anyway. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. Yeah. Why not? I'll hire a guy to the Mako Reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. And this is the where things... Oh, things start connecting together, the pieces. It's, the a, it's a girl. The strings of fate. I want to go into the mansion. We like the mansion. We will go in the mansion. I know, but we won't go where I want to go. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth, in case something happens. Trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. I have two men from Soldier with me. I'm Tiffa. Nice to meet you. Tiffa? You're the guide? That's right. I just happen to be the number one guide in this town. It's too dangerous. I can't get you involved in something like this. Now, I understand that it's like a flashback and all things like that, but wouldn't the two of them seeing each other after Solo and be like, Oh my god, Cloud, it's you! Hi, how you doing? And the set, the you would thing. think so, yes. But she's just like, No, I'm your guide. I can't let you... It's like... We're, we're just gonna ignore the fact that we haven't seen each other for years upon years. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then there's no problem if you protect her. Let's go. Um... Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take one picture for a memento. Fanboys. Ugh. Tifa, can you ask him for me, too? It better be an accurate cosplay. Cha-ching. <laughs> Jeez! Whatever. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. If he ever sees us again. Oh, CGI goodness! The Mako reactor was built in Mount Nibble. The cold air of the mountains of Nibble, it was no different. And we're walking. And we're walking. And you got you, you. You passed the sword. No, oh, go back. No, go no. back. You passed the sword. Oh, we, forget it. We missed forget it. Forget it. Fine, whatever. <laughs> it gets harder from here. Follow me. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> so I stuttered over that when I said it. I was like, oh, um, ah, uh, the bridge. Oh. Cloud definitely does not have his hand on Tiffa. But At all. Whatever. At all. We, we get the point. Do we? I hope so. What if he was just like fake reaching towards her? He used the force. That's what it was. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> Everyone seems to be alright. 
can we get back to where we were? These caves are intertwined, just like an ant farm. Oh, and, and Sephiroth, there seems to be one person missing. It may sound cold, but we got no time to search for him. We can't go back now, so we must go on. We'll travel together from here. Fusion. And apparently Cloud is his chosen leader. As always. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think there are some random battles here. Yeah, it'll happen. But you have Cloud and Sephiroth, and Sephiroth just kills things. They're really quick. Yep. What's this? A mysterious colored cave. Wow, Tiffa. Really? Brains of the operator. I would say so. It must be the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why the Mako reactor was built here. And fusion. And fusion again. And we don't care anymore. I guess the enemy encounter rate is a lot lower then. Because it's extremely of this. low, yeah. yeah. Which makes it easier, you know? Because we just need this to be expanded out any more than it needs to be. I know. And what's this? A Mako fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. Is no one going to go with her? And... No. No? No, we're okay. If the Mako reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. She has one eye. Yep. I would just like to point that out. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the other one. Materia. When you condense Mako energy, Materia is produced. Remember what he just said. Yep. It's very rare to be able to see Materia in natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use materia, you can also use magic, too? You were in Soldier, and you don't even know that. The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic. Or so they say. <laughs> magic? A mysterious power? Hey, hey, uh, Tifa? Are we okay? I don't know why Tifa uh, fell over there. Uh, we, uh, you did. Someone pick her up. She fell over. She lost energy. I, and not only that, her arms are dead. I, They're I know, just I, like swinging. <laughs> someone turned the crank. She's run out of juice. <laughs> Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use an unscientific term such as mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Hojo of Shinra Inc. An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. You're all right now, Tiff? That's good. A Mako fountain. So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is. She's also about three steps back on our conversation. Yes. And we're walking. All right, good. Tiff got a little nap in, and uh, we just <laughs> had to move forward then. Some of the weird animations in this game are like... I don't know. Weird? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Magic. <laughs> you could have had a random encounter there. I wonder if I could have. Yes, I'm pretty sure you can. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Yeah, well, maybe if you didn't break the bridge. Or take a nap. Tiffa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But take care of the lady. See now at this point in Tifa's training, she's still pretty good. Like yep. she's had a good amount of training. So she can easily kick this guy's ass if need be. Yes. Man! But she never would. Nope weapons must not be used for that purpose. 
Better take real good care of me then. How you do? <laughs> now, oh, oh yeah. If ah, I already screwed it up. What happened? What? If you're fast enough, you actually can beat Sephiroth inside the room, but <laughs> he's still magically in front of you. Well, magic. We had this discussion when we were standing around the Mega Reactor. Get him away! Get him away! Get, 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 get. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. You can you can beat him inside, but he's still in front of you. Like way in front of you. Yes. Wow. This is Genova, right? The lock won't open. This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. You're standing right in yeah, front of it. What the? <laughs> like, legit right in front of it. Nope, nope. <laughs> he's, he's too cool for that type of job. Why did it break? Hmm. Now I see. Hojo. But even doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. This is a system that condenses and freezes the Mega Energy. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mega Energy become when it's further condensed? Ah, uh, quiz. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, yeah, it becomes material. Right. Normally. But Hojo put something else in there. Take a look. Everyone's being very nice to Cloud about all this. Yes, we know to look through the window. No, Try you it. have to. You, oh, you have, have to, to talk to him uh, to look through the window. Well, there's not many places that you can look. I mean... No. Ugh. That's how... That's how the RPG characters get the funny hair. Oh, it's grown! <laughs> inside of hyperbolic time chambers. <laughs> what is this? It all makes sense now. Normal members of soldier are humans that have been showered with a maker. You're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? They have been exposed to a high degree of makeup far more than you. They're basically swimming in it like it's a bath of makeup, right? Yeah. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo of Shinra who produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy. That's what these monsters really are. Here comes the snap. Mm -hmm. Normal members of Soldier. You mean you're different? Uh, hey, Sephiroth. No! Was I? Ugh. Was I created this way too? Stupid machines. Sephiroth. Am I the same as all these monsters? You saw it. All of them. They're humans. Human? No way. I've always felt since I was small that I was different from others. Special in some way. But not like this. Ooh. Attractive. I'd say so. It almost looks like it has pants. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was a US release kind of thing. Probably. <laughs> Am I? Oh, is it your, human. It's your yeah. it's cloud? Okay. I didn't quite understand what Sephiroth was saying at that time. Because you know Cloud's doing the flashback. Not yep. Sephiroth, sorry. I was even more surprised by that fact that Shinra was... I tried, people. I tried. Sorry, I thought he was controlling the thing. <laughs> I didn't know that it was auto... Damn, Shinra! The more I hear, the more I hate him! Who would have ever thought that Mega Reactor held a secret like that? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. I think we should listen carefully to Cloud. 
Don't you think so, Barrett? Why are you talking to me? I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have reached the midway point of the story of Sephiroth. Uh, if you sit through the whole episode of this, and then the next episode will probably be released by now, because I'm releasing them right next to each other. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. Be sure to check out part two of the story of Sephiroth and see exactly what happens to his mind after it seemed to have snapped at realizing what Shinra was doing with all those uh, Mako reactors and humans and things along that way. Yeah. Um, this ain't a victory fan for yet. Probably not until the end of the next episode or so. Yes. Give or take. Yes. So, we shall see you. I was going to say, we'll see you in part two. We'll see you in part two.